Well, a few people have wanted me to go for into a, to a proper ride video. So I thought, well, uh, Saturday, uh, Shonya's out working, nothing much to do apart from, you know, cruise the internet and play video games. I said, it's a beautiful day today. Let's get out and uh, get, take the bike for a run. I've got to get some bloody kilometres up on this thing here to get up to the first service. So um, come along with us if you want to uh, see what it's like to ride the bike. And look, Mayor, she wants to, Mayor, she wants to come out and take photo of me too, right? So there's the bike. It's all ready to go. I've got the, uh, got the camera mounted up on the fairing there. Um, we've been doing some tests with the SJ cameras, and uh, I think this gives the best uh, ride feel. Um, the helmet cam works good as well, but uh, there's too much head turning, and if you want to sort of see the scenery, uh, I think the uh, the fairing mount works best. Anyway, so let's get this, let's get the show on the road. Yeah, I did, a, uh, I did a ride video out to a place called Puerto Montan when we first uh, picked up the m slash bikes last year. The last year? Was it, was it, was it, was it 2016 we got the m slabs wasn't it? Um, and we did a bit of a cruise around there. I'm going to go back there and do another cruise around there, uh, again showing the scenery. It's a lovely little place to hang out and a great place to picnic if you've got families and everything else. But I'm not going to go the main way. I'm actually going to do a bit of a sort of... Uh, exploration of the backwaters here in, in Don Cam up to put them on time. Um, one of the things people don't realize about uh, you know, the suburbs of Thailand is, you know, in some sense, the, the stark contrast of uh, suburban lifestyle in terrace houses, which is what you'll find on most of the um, uh, housing estates here in, in Bangkok. Um, and you've only got to go like, you know, 200 yards, and you've actually got sort of rural farming in sort of, not, not rice farming, but, um, you know, farming plots, rural farming, or, you know, like, you know, I don't know what they really call it, but uh, it's just that contrast of, of Thai lifestyle of housing and, and farming all rolled into one in, like, you know, in the space of, you know, uh, well, I think it's about eight kilometres uh, from here to put them on time, uh, going the back way. But anyway, come and join us. Okay, so this first stop I'm stopping at here is this is actually what they call uh, Thonburi uh, University. Uh, it's just very close to our house, as you can saw from the ride. Uh, but it's you know again one of the first little surprises you find in the in the suburbs. Just the uh, the, the whole place is 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 unique in its own um, in its, its own right. But it's, a, it's a wonderful sort of old style Thai living quarters here just behind me. Um, and I must come back here and probably do a sit-down vlog, you know, when I want to do some story time. Because uh, again, the setting is absolutely just wonderful.
Yeah, so here we are, just a couple of turns and a couple of streets and we are pretty much in a commercial growing area now in Nong Kem. Uh, and just off to the uh, right of us here is a football stadium. Um, and it's, you know, it's, as I said, it's a contrast of you know, the terrace houses and then just a couple of streets away and you've got basically greenery. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, I don't know, maybe sort of some people just aren't into this thing here. Me from a pagan background, I just think it's, a, it, it's, it's amazing how these contrasts um, are so prevalent here in Thailand. Anyway, we're just got a bit more further up here and then we can get onto the main road. So you only have to do a few more turns, a little bit more straight road, not too much, and we find ourselves in like what, we, what I call an industrial estate. Uh, absolutely, there's the, the contrast of Thai lifestyle here totally amazes me. Um, and I think it's just totally wonderful how it all blends together. Driving in Thailand on these sort of uh, more suburban roads isn't really as bad as trying to drive into, into Bangkok. You're still going to keep your wits about you. Anyhow, just this stop here. This is uh, just coming up to Putamonton now. This is still on the main road. But one thing about Putamonton, there is a big waterway around the outside of Putamonton, um, which is full of um, catfish. And one of the things you can do if you come out here is you've got these little stands here to sell this fish food and it's quite comical to actually pick up a bag of this fish food uh, and go inside and feed the fish. Now I won't be doing that because of course I've got to, I can't easily carry the fish food as well as riding the bike uh, but as I said if you're out this way um, definitely pick up the fish food and, um, and uh, make it part of your, um, your, your social thing that you're doing inside.
Well, so here we are in Putamonton. It's a, an absolutely amazingly big place and it's all trees and gardens and everything else. We were here, the most recent time we were here was through the, um, uh, the King's uh, cremation uh, ceremony. This is one of the locations, as you can see behind me here. Uh, they've still got some, uh, I suppose, awnings out there. I guess they must do other things here as well. This is a very, very popular uh, Buddhist uh, sanctuary um, and uh, very well respected uh, within the Buddhist community. Um, now I'm just going to take around and sort of see if we can sort of determine what each of the seat sites are. There's something very specific about the layout of this particular location, uh, which is the cardinal points of the compass uh, for the eight paths of the, or the eight, uh, like, look, I'm not a Buddhist, um, and my, uh, my understanding of the, the, uh, the spiritual nature is, is limited. Um, but there are eight points around the, um, the location which are all points of worship um, for the different things that uh, transpire in your life. But it truly is, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, about the only park that I've actually found in Bangkok uh, at this sort of size and level that is peaceful, tranquil, and, um, and just a, a wonderful escape and a great place to come for a picnic. Yeah, so it is two o'clock in the afternoon and as you can see it's not overly crowded here even on a Saturday. So definitely if you're coming out here, you know, it's an absolutely wonderful place to check out.
And just to the right of me here, this is the actual um, Buddha statue or uh, the statue of Putamantan. I believe when I read the uh, wiki article, it's one of the highest ones here in, in Bangkok. Uh, but again, look, I'll, I'll leave a link to the wiki article in my website there if you want to check it out. And for the last point of interest, I guess, in here, like there's plenty of Buddhist, uh, I suppose, temples and things here inside the, um, the location. Uh, I think you can get a, a little tourist map at one of the kiosks. I haven't stopped there. I, you know, like Shonja's not with me. I'm only just doing the cruise around. But one of the places here is a museum. Now, I haven't actually been inside here. Again, I've been sort of waiting to do this with Shonya. Um, we just haven't had a chance to get back here. Hopefully, when she gets her bike, then we'll do another ride out here and do visit the museum. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is, a, as I said, this is pretty much Buddha Montan. Um, and we've seen you know, all the, the scenery. I'm going to make my way back out and on my way home. Anyway guys and girls, uh, that's the end of the actual vlogging bit. Uh, I will of course now be you know, using the camera, the, the, the ride camera, to get all the way back home. I don't know if I'll post that whole uh, ride home, but uh, if I do, good for you guys and good for me and I'll see you guys later. Anyway, bye for now.